Hey guys, what's up? It's Isaac, and today we're going to be talking about my five favorite books. But first, I just want to thank everyone on Patreon. Um, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for supporting this ministry. And if you want to help me do this full time, uh, please support us on patreon.com slash daily underscore disciple. There's lots of different rewards on there, and it would be a humongous blessing to this ministry. Uh, that's my dream to do this full time. So help me do that and sign up on Patreon. Now on to the video. So my first book or the book that that is in my top five i haven't ranked these one to five i just put them in my top five if you wanted that i'm sorry i can't do that that's too hard but my first book here is the soul of shame by kurt thompson um, retelling the stories we believe about ourselves this book was really um a really good read i read this book and it really dove into you know, the shame that we all experience in our life and how it impacts us, impacts our relationships with, with others, impacts our relationship with God, and really helping us to understand the brokenness that is within each of our lives, um, but giving us the tools to overcome that through Christ and through that new identity in Christ. And, and I, I really love this book. It's a really good read. Recommend it highly. The next book here is A Theology of Biblical Counseling um, by Heath Lambert. Now you're like, oh my goodness, this stuff is boring. But believe me, this is a good read. If you're interested in getting some solid biblical foundations for what you believe, if you're not you know, maybe you're not into biblical counseling. If you are, this book is absolutely perfect for you. But if you're not, um, not in that, that world, it's still really good because it gives you a good foundation on a lot of important theology, theology of God, of the Holy Spirit, of common grace, of, you know, a lot of different things. So I would really uh, recommend this this book. Um, it, it's, it's, it's thick. It's a, you know, it's a hefty hardcover. I do love my hardcover books, but it's a hefty read, um, but um, definitely worthwhile. Now, the next book here is a little bit of a smaller book. This might be a little bit nicer for many of you. I know it's nicer for me when I saw this little book. I was like, I didn't do that. Um, it's deceivingly long, though. Be careful. Uh, it's called God is the Gospel uh, by John Piper. Um, he uh, started uh, the ministry Desiring God. I would highly doubt that you haven't come across at least one of their articles. Um, their website cranks out a lot of really good articles by John Piper and by others. Um, but this book by John Piper, Piper, a God is the Gospel. Really, what I would say is it it broadens our general perspective of what we consider the gospel to be. So this idea that yes, Jesus came, He died on the cross, taking the penalty for our sins, rose again on the third day. That's the gospel. But also understanding, look, the fact that there is a God, the fact that God exists in His glory and His majesty and His grace and His kindness and His justice, that is good news. That is that is the gospel. And so when we come to understand who God truly is and, and what the fact that God exists even means for us, um, that's, that's the gospel. That's the, the kind of broadening that perspective. So I'm kind of simplifying the book, uh, but I definitely recommend this, this read now for, I think, I think I can say this is probably my favorite book. Um, but you know, it changes every so often. This is called shattered dreams. God's unexpected path to joy um, by Larry Crabb. I think I can say changed my life and I want to explain a little bit of why that is. We all have these dreams and this is kind of what the book explains. We all have these dreams that we want to come true, these hopes, these goals and we in, in some ways we put our joy in those things, our hope in those things um, and when ultimately they don't come true or don't come true as they as we want them to at what usually happens nothing usually turns out exactly as we want it um, we're left with these shattered dreams and we're stuck kind of asking these questions of God and 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 of purpose and uh, what are we supposed to do and and how can we even find joy what the book kind of highlights is that when we do experience these shattered dreams um, which happens to to many of us uh, most of us, I would say, is that those shattered dreams can either draw us to God or draw us away from God. And the amazing way that God uses those shattered dreams is he brings us to himself. It reorients our perspective on the pursuit of God instead of goals or instead of dreams. Yes, God's path is better than any other path that we could dream up in and of ourselves. But it's not even about that new path that God has orchestrated. It's about God himself and the pursuit of him. 
Because when we are left with these shattered dreams, we come to understand, and hopefully we come to understand, that God is what's most important. And the pursuit of Him, understanding who He is, growing our relationship with Him, is ultimately what will bring us joy in life. It's not dreams, it's not goals, it's God. And so that 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 kind of whole idea, uh, that whole concept just blew my mind. And I definitely, if you're going to read one of these books, read this book um, by Larry Crabb, Shattered Dreams. And now you're wondering why I don't have a fifth book. You, 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 Isaac, you titled this video Top 5 Favorite Books. How could you do this to us? And for that, I am so, so sorry. <laughs> but I want you to tell me what your favorite book is non-fiction, you know, we'll throw fiction in there, sure, um, Christian, non-Christian, tell me what your favorite book is, and maybe I can add that to my list of favorite books next time. We'll see. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel because there's new videos coming out all the time, Mondays and Thursdays, um, and uh, I'll see you next time. See you later.